Hi everyone, this is Vin with Closet Pro Software. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new proposal with Closet Pro. So we just have this standard three wall closet and uh, we want to generate a PDF proposal to send to our clients. You got to come over here and select the closet or closets that you want to include in this proposal. Just select this checkbox and do create new proposal. Now here we can add any discounts or additional charges, so let's do a web discount, 15%, you know, 15% off, and then maybe uh, $250 for installation and labor. And you can see the net, to the net cost is going to adjust according to those uh, numbers automatically. Then we have a uh, disclaimer field right here, we'll just put in... Uh, default disclaimer here the date that the proposal will be active for so it'll expire after a certain amount of time and then they can no longer um, accept your proposal and then a link expiration date which is how long the, the client can go into this specific proposals link and uh, view their closet in 3d and view their renders so here I'm gonna select yes to show renders and show tech drawings you can also add any additional documents if you'd like for now uh, we're just going to continue forward. Here's that link that has an expiration date. So I'm just going to copy that for, for later. And here's the new proposal that we just generated. So I'm going to hit email and that's automatically going to go to the customer. Right now it's emailing to myself. You can see up here it says proposal email is successfully sent. I'm going to come over here to PDF. And this is what's going to generate our PDF proposal. So we have the proposal name, location, who would submit to, proposal message, and all that. All this is customizable. And let's generate files. This is going to combine all the tech drawings, the views, or any views that you saved and generated there, uh, any renders if you want to attach those. And it should be combining all of these, and it um, takes about 30 seconds to generate a PDF. Okay, so it's done generating, and we see now we have this view button over here. We just click on that, and it's going to download a PDF right to your computer. Open that up, and here's all that customizable information when generating the PDF. Then we have the room layout, the tech drawings for each wall, then the individual walls rendered in 2D, then the first render, second render, and third renders here. You can also click on these to view them online individually. Then the specs, oh. any doors, the accessories attached with this job, our disclaimer that I put in right here, and then finally the uh, line ticket items down down here with a signature line. This will be your uh, your company's logo. So now let's take a look at how we'll get this to the client. Now I just emailed that, so your your customer would get an email, a, a general email from from you saying hey you have a proposal here and then with that link that I copied earlier this is what the link they'll get they'll come in you can see I have an old proposal here that's already expired they can no longer view this and now here's the one we just generated with the the ability to view it now so we we wanted to have a link expiration date so uh, clients can't go out and shop your designs It kinda of protects your your designs so we can view this uh, view in 2D, 3D, view the renders, any options, accessories attached, and this is your client at their own home uh, viewing the, the link that you sent them. So let me get back out of here. And then from here they're able to check this box for the disclaimer and accept the proposal if they'd like. And one additional thing, let me log back in. So say uh, the cl customer gets the proposal, decides, you know what, maybe that's a little too much money. Uh, what you can do is just make a copy, create a clone, and that's going to come back up here. So they can still view this proposal and still have it there. But now we can just come back into this closet and change the color, say, uh, to white, make it a little cheaper. 
can see all all the costs have changed and let's head back now here when we select we can use the last proposal settings so this will bring in everything that I had last time with the web discount the labor and installation update that and we have a new proposal in white so now say we want to generate a PDF but you don't want to show some or you want to change some of the individual pages this auto generate will not put the PDF files together so you can hit no to auto generate and then we generate the files individually so on here you can change closet height color edge band any of these are now editable so suppose I'm good with this we hit export to PDF and it's going to go on to the next page that we that we can change the these fields for so that's all I have for you today thanks for joining in